Take me to the water. Take me to the water. Take me to the water to be baptized. Hi guys, it's Sanal. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're having an amazing day. I'm back in the studio, my office again. <laughs> I'm not live, but I'm recording this um, so that I could share this with you. So I had this um, thought that kept coming to me, yes, to me yesterday, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, do all of the things to perform all of the rituals that you must perform for this channel. Thank you so much. And I'll leave a link below if you want to be a part of my journey, donate to the amazing plans that we have. Once we get to the continent, there is a GoFundMe uh, link or um, there's a GoFundMe link, yes, below. And you can uh, join me and you can assist me on my journey and be a part of investing in this amazing vision that the Most High has given me. So I wanted to share with you all uh, today about stepping into the stream. And this came to me yesterday because many of us are, you know, this is new for us going back to the motherland, uh, repatriating. This is all new for many of us. Uh, this is the first time that we're really actually making plans, getting all of our work together. And it takes time. It takes research. <laughs> it takes it's a process, right? And so if you don't have your passport, I just want you to know I love you. If you don't have all of your research done and you haven't figured out what country you're going to and you're asking, still asking 50, 100 million thousand questions, I just want you to know I love you. <laughs> if you're uh, not quite sure, haven't uh, gotten all, everybody on board, your spouse, your friends, your family, your mama, uh, Bay and them and your kids, everybody's not quite on board yet. I still love you because it's a process and it's going to take time. It's not something that we can do, you know, quickly. I'm just going to move that up a bit. It's not something we can do quickly, um, but it's, you know, something that just takes time and patience. And so my, I just wanted to come and encourage you today to, if you're on the fence, not quite sure what you want to do, or you're not even sure uh, what business you're going to do once you get on the continent and you're not quite sure about all the pieces coming together, what I want you to do for your life is to step into the stream. And this is a spiritual concept. Step into the flow and into the stream and the flow of what the ancestors have prepared for you. Don't be afraid to pull back just a moment and to take a moment, whether it's doing prayers and libations with water, like I've showed you on other um, broadcasts, or if it's sitting back meditating and being in prayer and sitting in the silence, whether it is invoking the ancestors and calling their wisdom to come forth in this moment, that's stepping in the stream, no matter what it looks like for you. It's opening your Bible, whether it's talking to the Most High, whether it is singing old songs um, that we used to sing, whatever the case may be for you, I need you to step into the stream and the flow of your life. For me, I have been on YouTube for um, right at three years and I was struggling with YouTube because I was doing things that I didn't really resonate with me, but it was kind of a hobby at first and really wasn't thinking about it as a business in the beginning. And so I was just, you know, doing some things that I thought were fun. I was thrifting, I was shopping and just doing things, you know, um, I was a stay at home mom. And so I had worked as well when the kids, um, you know, were older, but for most of my life, I've been a mom, stay at home mom. And so I, um, you know, my wife and mom, great job. 
<laughs> the kisses are really good i tell you best job and so i wasn't really thinking about youtube as a business and so the numbers were what they were and then when i started to think about youtube as a business i was in a uh, industry because I was in thrifting and fashion but it didn't really resonate with me because as I got older clothes did not mean the same thing to me as they meant when they <laughs> meant when they were younger okay <laughs> they didn't mean the same thing give me something comfortable and it's cute I can throw on and go I'm good I used to a whole different place in my life now and so I was kind of going against the stream because I didn't enjoy it as much anymore. I didn't enjoy shopping as much as I did before. I didn't enjoy those things. So I was against the stream. So it wasn't fun. And I'm sure my audience saw that. And so all the extra fun things like I do now come up with millions of ideas that I can do um, for content that I can provide for you. That, that inspiration, that joy just wasn't there. Um, then I kind of stumbled <laughs> this is stepping into the stream again. I heard Spirit say, you know, Africa Day. It was uh, May 25th. And so I celebrated Africa Day. And from there on, my whole content changed. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And now it has taken me less than, uh, well, yeah, less than four months, a little over three and a half months to be monetized. Well, or to be, in, I'm in the process now of monetization because I listened to Spirit. When I heard Spirit say, celebrate africa day i did it okay even though it was out of my genre it was way out of any of the content i had been doing before although it was different from anything i was really doing i stepped into the stream it's the same thing as saying do something new get into the flow it may be different it may be new for you you're looking for ways to bring about prosperity you're looking for ways to bring about plans for opportunities as you go to the continent to um, provide for yourself and your family. I need you to get into the flow. Looking for ways for open doors to talk to your family, to open opportunities, to find the perfect house for you when you go there, the land for agriculture or farming or your business or whatever you're going to do for the connections to come, for the right people to connect with, all of that. That means you need to get into the flow and step into the stream of the Most High. So there's a scripture and um, in, uh, I want to say it's either Ecclesiastes um, 11 and 1. And so if it's not that, I'll leave it below. I've been studying this all day but <laughs> and last night, but it says, cast your bread on the waters and in many days there it will return unto you. I grew up hearing this forever. And so I, there are several different, um, uh, pro, you know, interpretations or prophecies surrounding that particular scripture but one of them is to cast your cares right cast your cares your prayer your cares on the waters and not many days it will return to you get into the stream into the flow there is a beautiful spiritual river in africa i won't call its name it's very i mean the name itself is reverenced and it's beautiful and when people go to that stream miracles happen you can tap into that stream right here wherever you are america i'm in america the uk uh the caribbean jamaica haiti wherever you are you can tap into that stream no matter where you are you can tap into the stream that's flowing the river that's flowing of the most high to get the wisdom to get the knowledge to get the information that you need to go where you need to go on the continent of africa to pinpoint your perfect location, to pinpoint your perfect house, to pinpoint your perfect business, your perfect family and friends who are going to surround you and are going to support you on your journey. The perfect customers, right, for your business and new thing that you're going to be doing. Don't be afraid to do something new and don't be afraid to step into the stream of the most high because it is going to take you getting out of your comfort zone and releasing your ideas, your greatest hopes, all of that to the most high to bring forth the beautiful things that you envision, the beautiful things that are coming and pouring from your heart that you intend to bring to the universe. We intend as a family, um, my husband and I have plans to bring 
to do some export and import business, uh, to do agriculture. Of course, all of this is hubby. Then I want to do media. Um, there is a, a lot of media and amazing content I want to bring on the continent of Africa to you. In addition to the interviews I'm doing now, more, 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 and more different types of content as well. We have a plan to have a sanctuary, a, a repat house, a sanctuary house for you, for people just like you and me who are searching on a journey to have a safe place to land when they repatriate home. And so I had to step into the stream, right? To even begin to pull out that information from spirit about what is it that you want me to do? I know healing is a big part of the sanctuary house. And so where is that gonna be the most effective? Where spirit do you want me to go? I had to step into the stream. I had to step into the stream of the most high of consciousness of wisdom of ancient wisdom with the ancestors to be even begin to pull out these plans and to be able to help me to talk to my husband and my family about it and to have the courage to share this with you and so in that stream in that flow comes prosperity right and wealth and opportunity so when i begin to step in the stream then people like um expat life in Ghana began to come so that I could interview them. Um, the bag family began to come, these opportunities. As I reached out to them, they reached back to me with loving kindness with uh, Shayla over at Resplendence Language Arts and uh, so Ivy Prosper and everyone, because I don't want to leave anyone out, Demetra and Coral and kids, all of the people that I've reached out to. They began to then pour back into me and it was all because I stepped into the stream. My numbers began to grow, right? Because I listened and I, began, I stepped into the stream of what the Most High had for me. And now I'm in this flow and it's easier. It's easier now. The interviews are easy. The conversations, they're the conversations now. They're not even interviews. We talk and chat with each other, right? The information coming out to you all is easier. It's simplified. I feel that way. So I hope it's coming off to you. Is being very simple, fly, very simplified, uh, very easy to understand, so you can make a good plan and have good information as you repatriate home. Step into the stream, the wisdom that you're looking for, the guidance that you're looking for, the information that you're looking for is in the stream. It is in the stream. It is in the flow of your life and in the flow of the ancestors and in the flow of the universe where it there is ease, okay? There is an ease that will come and a peace that will come, a joy that will come in anything that you're doing, whether it's repatriating, creating your business, opening opportunities, connecting with the people you need to connect with. It's all in the stream. We used to sing a song when people would be uh, baptized and I love this song at my Baptist church in Batesville, Mississippi. And we used to sing, take me to the water. Take me to the water. Take me to the water. Be baptized. None but the righteous. None but the righteous. None but the righteous shall see God. Take me to the water. Take me to the water. Take me to the water to be baptized. And so spirit will meet you in the water. If you have the faith to step into the water. I promise you, beloved, spirit will meet you there. All right.
I want you to be blessed. I want you to know how much I love you. I want you to know how amazing you are. You are amazing. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. You are blessed. You are infinite. Within you is everything you need to succeed. You are amazing. I love you. And I'm going to see you in another video real soon. Bye-bye, guys.